An autopsy conducted on journalist Rita Tinina's body has revealed that the cause of death for the seasoned media personality was acute pneumonia. The autopsy was conducted on Tuesday, March 19, morning by pathologists at Umash Funeral Home led by government pathologist Pete Ndegwa. Speaking at the funeral home, the family spokesperson Timothy Nyoga said they are satisfied with the results earlier. The police report filed by Rita's sister at Kalelishwa Police Station stated that the late journalist struggled with a severe fever in the five days leading to her death. The police reports also stated that the journalist suffered from epilepsy, as narrated by her sister. In the statement, Helen Silaun Yoga, Rita's sister, also indicated within her report that the 46-year-old journalist was found unconscious on Sunday morning. However, upon arrival of paramedics, she was declared dead. Her colleagues from the Nation Media Group had stated they learned of the death upon visiting her home after she failed to report to work on Sunday. Nation journalists have eulogized her as a humble scribe and a person of few words despite her widespread fame in the industry. In a tribute to NMG editor-in-chief, Joe Ageo praised her professionalism, citing that he relied on her to offer expertise in his assignments. He further detailed that on two occasions, he had requested Rita to join him to the stations he was moving to after landing senior positions, a request Rita had obliged to. Ageo also noted that Rita was set to make her on-screen debut as NMG after rejoining Nation as an editor. We have been given the results. We have been told that uh, the late uh, Rita died of severe pneumonia. She died of severe pneumonia. We are satisfied with the results. We are closed uh, that uh, question. Uh, of course, the members of the family right now are distraught and they are still asking for, for, for space. They're still asking for a little bit of privacy. 